Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Sichamba Jacob. In today's video, we'll try to look at uh, some ideas that you need to know on circle theory. All right, so let me write something here. So this is our focus for today. So when it comes to circle theorem, you need to understand the parts of the circle. So say parts of a circle. So the parts of the circle that you need to know is that a circle has got what we call a center. This is the center. The other thing is that a circle has got a, a diameter. So let's talk about diameter. What is this diameter? A diameter is simply a line passing through the center, touching two parts of the the circle of the circumference. So it's touching this part and this other part. A circle has got a radius. So this is the radius and a radius is half over a diameter. So this radius is half over a diameter and this is what you need to know. A circle has got what we call a chord. So can you see this chord over here? A chord is simply a line touching two parts of a, the circle or two parts of the circumference. In this case, it's touching this part and this part. So even the diameter can also be called a chord of leaves making sense now under this same circle we find this part there is this part over here which has been formed by the chord this part is called the segment this is a segment so you need to know that there is a segment there is another thing and this thing it may be here on top, like this, or here, for as long as it's touching one part of uh, the circle, or here. This part is called the tangent line, or this line, so to say. It's a tangent line. It only touches the circle at one point or it touches the circumference at one point. All right, let's now talk about the rules. And these rules are very important. When you want to answer an exam question, you just have to know these rules. We call them properties under circle theorem. Rule number one, Rule number one looks like this. You have a circle. There is a center here. It's, it's the angle at the center is from the, 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 the arc. You can see this arc over here. There is another angle touching the circumference somewhere here. So we say this angle is twice this angle over here. So this angle is twice this angle. Why? It's because they are all coming from the same arc, this arc. They're all coming from the same arc. One is at the center, the other one is at the circumference. So if this is 40 degrees, what is this? Guess, let me give you a minute to guess. 
If this is 40, what is this angle? It's 20 degrees. Following what I've said, I have said this angle is twice this angle. Let's check another property. Property number two. So this is property number two. This is a center. You can see this is a diameter. So a, an angle, okay, or a triangle formed inside a semicircle has got a 90 degree angle at the circumference. So this is the circumference over here. So this is 90 degrees because this triangle is inside the semicircle which has been cut by this diameter. So you need to know this. It doesn't matter where this, uh, this, this angle is. It may be here. It is still, it still be 90 degrees. Let's check another property. Property number three or rule number three. Don't confuse this with the rule number one. This is rule number three. Rule number three says that the angle which is at this point and this is the same. These two angles are equal. Why? Because they are coming from the same arc. Hopefully it's making sense. If this is 20 degrees, what is this one? Guess, guess, guess. It's also 20 degrees. Remember rule number one, I said angle from the same arc, the one at the center is twice the one at the circumference. But this time around, all these two are on or are at the circumference. Let's try to check rule number four. You can see inside the, the circle there is what we call a quadrilateral quadrilateral so this quadrilateral the way it is done we know that opposite angles add up to 180 so if this is 90 degrees this is also 90 degrees if this is okay yeah 90 degrees let me try to change so that people don't get, get confused let's say this is 180, uh, sorry, 100 degrees. This must be what? It must be 80 degrees because opposite angles add up to 180. So let's check if this is uh, 40 degrees. What is this angle? This is 140 degrees. That's what it means. Let's try to move to property number five. We call this property alternate, alternate, alternate. We call this property alternate theorem. So you see, there is a triangle inside the circle. Hopefully, you're able to see. There is a triangle inside the circle. So this is a segment. Over here, let me let me do this so that it looks good. Good. So this is a segment. So this angle is alternating with this angle. So this is the same as this. If this is 40 degrees, this is also 40 degrees. Hopefully it's making sense. If this is 40 degrees, this is also 40 degrees. We say the angle formed by or the angle between the tangent line and the segment line this is the segment 
or uh, this is a chord, this is a chord. So the angle between tangent line and the, the chord is equal to the angle at the circumference. The angle at the circumference coming from the same chord. So if this is 50 degrees, where else can we find 50 degrees? Look around. Where else can we find 50 degrees using the same idea here? It's over here. This is 50 degrees also. Because this is a sec, uh, uh, this is a chord and this is a tangent line. So this chord, any angle formed from or any angle from this chord at the circumference is equal to the angle between the chord and the tangent line. Let's try to move to another question or another property. So we'll call this property rule number six. So rule number six says, if you have a radius and the tangent line, this angle and this are equal. This is 90 degrees and this is 90 degrees. So we say a radius touches or meets the tangent line at 90 degrees angle. Thank you. These properties may help you answer the exam questions. So let me try to write an exam question and solve using the same properties. Okay, so now this is an exam question with me. This exam question came in 2018 GCE. So let's try to jump on it. So how do you do this one? Let's check out. The same we calculate angle ARA wx so this angle over here so how do we calculate this angle i'll just tell you that this angle is 44 degrees 44 degrees how did i know that this is 44 degrees so let's check out the properties try to review the properties so we're using property number five and property number five says the angle which is here, okay, alternates with the angle which is over here. So if you can see this tangent line, there is an angle here between the tangent line and the chord. And any angle from this chord touching the circumference is equal to this. So these two are equal. So check property number five is the one I've used here. What about this one? It's also 44 degrees. This angle over here is 44 degrees. I'm using property number three to find this angle, which is here. So what does property number three says? It says angles from the same arc or same segment or same chord touching the circumference are equal. So, this angle and this angle, they are coming from the same segment or arc as well as the, the chord. So, meaning this and this are equal. So, let's try to check out the other question over here. So, they're asking us to find which angle, this angle over here. So, how do you find or how do we find this angle? We first need to find this angle and we use property over a triangle. So angles in a circle or in a triangle add up to 180. So what we're going to do now is to find this angle. So we'll say 180 degrees minus the addition of this plus this plus this because we're using the straight line. This is a straight line. So this angle is up. 180 so when we subtract this 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 from 180 we will remain with the angle which is here so in this case we say 44 degrees plus 54 degrees plus 39 degrees so this will give us uh, when we add here we have 137 of which when we subtract 137 from 180 we we'll find that our angle is 43 degrees so this is 43 degrees over here so since we are 43 degrees 
we can use this same 43 degrees and 44 we find the angle which is here so we will say 180 degrees minus the sum of these two 43 degrees plus 44 degrees so of 180 okay 180 degrees minus what is the what is the what is what are we getting when we add this we are getting 87 degrees which is equal to 93 degrees so this is 93 degrees 93 degrees thank you very much kindly subscribe to my youtube channel and one more thing one more thing i'm running a promotion online tuitions so we do tuitions from 20 hours to 21 hours every day so join the whatsapp group by just sending a message to 0969175701 so when you send a message you request okay to join so once you request i'll tell you the condition there is a payment which is supposed to be done remember we only need 50 people and the number of people who are remaining now is very small so the earlier the better pay now it has been reduced from 100 kwacha kwacha just pay 30 kwacha you be in the group you benefit more and more okay remember exam is around the corner thank you